In this problem, we're combining Newton's second law with a little kinematics question. I have a car with a known initial velocity of 22.5 meters per second. The mass is given as 1400 kilograms. And I have a force pointing opposite the direction of the velocity because this car put on its brakes. That's a 15,000 Newton force. It induces an acceleration opposite to the direction of the velocity vector, which we know means the object is slowing down. And I'm going to compute that acceleration in part A and then find the braking distance, so the distance to come fully to a stop in part B. So the only force acting horizontally on this car is this braking force. And I can use that to find the acceleration of the car using Newton's second law. So I just solve for A and get A equals F over M. And the net force is 15,000 Newtons. And you should notice I'm not worried about signs here because I'm just trying to find the magnitude of the car's acceleration. And to three sig figs, I get an acceleration of 10.7 meters per second squared. Next, I want to find the distance it takes for the car to come to a stop. And so now I'm going to be careful about the direction of acceleration. So to be very clear about it, I'm putting my origin right at the starting position and I'm calling rightward positive. And that means my acceleration is negative 10.7 meters per second squared. My initial position is zero. My final position is what I'm looking for and I'll call that D. My initial velocity is 22 and a half meters per second. And my final velocity, well, this car is braking until it comes to a stop. So that's zero meters per second. So as I'm working out the kinematics, there's a couple approaches to it. One would be to find the time it takes the car to stop and then plug that time into the position formula for the x coordinate. That's not the most efficient way to do it because I don't even need to find the time. So the third kinematics equation is the one that's time independent. And that'll be the fastest way to get an answer here. So my final velocity is zero. My initial position was zero. And my final position I'm going to call D. So let's rewrite this. Zero equals initial velocity squared, 22 and a half squared, plus two times the acceleration, which has a minus sign, times my final position, which I'm calling D. Now I just have to solve for D. So I'm going to subtract the 22 and a half squared from both sides and then divide by this coefficient of D and I'll have it in one step. And I get a braking distance of 23.7 meters. If you find the physics content on Zach's Lab helpful, click on the Zach's Lab logo on the right to browse playlists and subscribe to the channel. I produce over 100 new videos per month, and subscribing is the easiest way to find new content. Thanks for watching.